The Radio Memories Network is brought to you in part by Liberated Syndication. Podcast publishing made easy. Libsyn.com. That's L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. Now for this week's exciting episode of The Adventures of Superman. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky. Look, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. And now, Superman, who has appeared on Earth as the champion of the weak and the oppressed. In his disguise of Clark Kent, news reporter for the Daily Planet, Superman has foiled the diabolical plans of the Yellow Mask, a maniac who thought himself emperor of the world. And now, a new adventure comes to the mild-spectacled reporter who is known to the city room as Clark Kent. Not knowing what strange and exciting days are directly ahead, Kent listens eagerly as a photographer brings word of a fire in one of the city's largest buildings. Listen. Hey, 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 Mr. White. What about that fire in the Sterling Tower? Yeah? What about it? All right, don't go, Kent. Just got a phone call. They think there's a girl trapped on the 20th floor. What? A girl trapped? Can't they get her out? Can't reach her. Mr. White, let, let me cover that story. Maybe... Maybe what, Kent? Oh, maybe I can do something. Can I cover it? Go ahead. But if the fire department can't reach her, why do you think you can? Listen, you ain't heard of half the chief. Hello, Miss Lane. What's all the excitement, Mike? Go on, Mike. Uh, wait. What about photographs? Who's up there? I'm going myself right away. But get this, will you? There's something phony about this fire. Phony? Yeah. Well, that's the dope I got. The fire marshal thinks maybe it's incendiary. Somebody said it on purpose. A fire bug. What? Who did it? Where, whereabouts in the building is it? Did I hear you say something about a girl? Did she do it? Listen, give me a chance, will you? There's a mining company got offices up in the tower. North Star Mining Company. That's where the fire started, and they think that's where the girl is. They think? Mr. White, we're wasting time. Mike and I can grab a cab and be up there in five minutes. <laughs> What's this? The star reporter turning fireman? Maybe he thinks he can save the girl. Come on, Galahad. Yes, do hurry. When you get back, we'll have a special medal for you. Clark Kent, scoops and life. Quit that, Lois. No time for fooling. On your way, Kent. Call back the minute you have anything. Say, there's a hook and ladder on the street right now. It must have turned the another alarm. What do you say, Kent? Wait till I grab my camera. We'll have a cab. Come on. Turn that corner on two wheels. How you doing, Kent? Uh, I'm all right, Mike. Hey, look. You can see smoke in the sky up ahead. Oh, this is a fire, all right. Ought to get some swell shots. Tough that dame really is trapped. Say, speaking of dames, what's Lois Lane got against you? Uh, oh, almost hit that traffic officer. Hey, Eddie, you got to knock somebody off. Don't pick on cops. Why does she cold shoulder you, Kent? I don't know. She just seems to have taken a dislike to me. Oh, boy, I'll say she has. And I can tell you why, too. You ain't got a chance with her, Kent. No? No, no. You ain't you heard? About that guy she says comes down from the clouds in a red cape and pulled her out of the wrecked airplane? Oh, listen, Mike. Th there's nothing to that. No, that's what you think, kid. You just ask her. She's got a real study now. She's that way about Superman. What's the matter, Kent? Why don't you laugh? Ain't you got no sense of humor? Oh, boy, I think it's rich. Hey, here we are. Hey, this will do it, Eddie. Find a place to park and stand by the rush back place. Hey, Mike, there's the fire chief. Oh, gee, look at that blaze, will you? Grab your hat, Ken. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Stretch a line up there at the south corner. Get a hose crew under that east wall. That wall is looking mighty bad, chief. Go to top of any minute now. Keep your eye on it, Grogan. We'll see if you can run a ladder up the ledge where that girl was. She's gone, chief. Reckon she couldn't stand the heat. Hey, here comes the press. Hello, chief. I'm Clark Kent of the Daily Planet. Don't bother me now, boys. We've got our hands full. Lieutenant! Yeah? Don't let your men get too close in there. Now, just watch it. Okay. Yeah, Chief, uh, about that trapped girl, is she still up there? I don't know. I haven't seen her. She must be a goner. Where are you going with that camera? Oh, just getting a couple of shots, Chief. Get back out of there. See me later, will you, Kent? All right, Chief. Just one thing. What about the fire being incendiary? See the fire marshal. He's the one to do the talking about that. Hey, Sanders! Bring that water tower to the first story. Hey, listen, Kent. What do you say? If we could get up in that building and cross the street, we'd have a swell angle, see? Good idea, Mike. Uh, there's a balcony up there. I'm afraid the chief won't like it. Ah, who cares? What he don't know won't hurt him. Come on, kid. This is going to be good. Mike, you go ahead up there. I'm going to call the office. 
But didn't I hear the chief say to send in another alarm? Yeah, that makes four. Mighty big fire that takes four alarms in this man's town. Uh-huh. Okay, kid, when you come back, look for me where you see the most smoke. Right. Steady, Rome. White. Mr. White, this is Kent. Listen, the fire's terrific. Four alarms. Four alarms, eh? What's the chief say? He won't say anything. Too busy to talk. What about the fires being incendiary? Well, I haven't found the marshal yet. Mike and I just got here. I thought I'd better phone you and tell you about the four alarms. Right. Now, listen, Kent. Keep phoning me whenever anything happens. Mr. White, they expect the east wall to go down any second. Mike's got his camera set to watch it. You tell him not to take too big a chance. And that goes for you, too, Kent. Don't worry. I don't take many chances. So long, Mr. White. Oh, Kent. Wait, what about the girl? The one they said was trapped on the 20th floor. Well, Mr. White, I don't know. She was in the offices of the North Star Mining Company, but where she is now, I... Uh, look, I, I'd better get back. Well, go ahead. I'll wait for your call. Hey, get ready for plates on the Sterling Tower fire. Slug it, wall goes out with mammoth plates. <laughs> Hey, right here, Kent. Out on the balcony. Come on, watch your step. Mighty thick smoke here. Can't see a thing. Well, that's a tough spot, all right. But every once in a while it clears, and boy, do I get a shot. How about the wall? All set to go. I better get that hose line out of there. Hey, look. Look over there at the wall. Ain't that a crack? Look up there. Mike, you're right. I can see flames right through it. Look at the chief down there in the street. He sees it. He's calling his men back. Mike, what if it falls this way? It won't. What's the matter? Mike, look. High up. Up there above the ledge. Hey, hey, gee, Kent. It's her. It's that girl. Up there on the 20th floor. Mike, she's managed to get to a window. What's she going to do? Do? She can't do nothing. When did I get her focus? Oh, never mind your camera. Call them down on the street. They can't see her. They don't know she's there. Hey, chief. Hey. There, the girl at the window. It's no use, Kent. They don't hear you. They, you can't do nothing. Mike, look at her. You can see her at the window. She's trying to break the glass. That won't help her. Look, in there behind her. Flames. Watch it, Kent. Here comes the smoke. <coughs> Can't see. Where are you, Kent? Kent! Back in the balcony. Good thing that smoke came when it did. Maybe I waited too long. Too long even for Superman. I'll try anyway. Up into the smoke. Hidden from the crowd by billows of dense white smoke pouring out of the burning building, Superman wings his way through the air to attempt a daring rescue of the girl trapped on the 20th floor. Flames crackle and spit like things alive as he reaches the window. One blow smashes the glass. Superman drops into the room, now a roaring inferno. Sheets of orange flame envelop him. His keen eyes search the fire gutted office. The girl is nowhere to be seen. Flames. Hotter than a blast furnace. Hope she got back out of this. Must be inside. Where's that door? There we are. Cooler in here. Not for long. Fire's following me in. There she is, hiding in the closet. I can see her right through the door. If I wrap her in my cape, the heat won't get to her. Quick. Sanders. Quick, you'll be all right. That's it. Hold on. Now then, back. Back out of this. Not the way we came in. Through the flames and out and back. The tower. We just make it. Out the window. Onto the ledge. That crowd in the street. The wind has cleared the smoke. They'll surely see me this time. But it can't be helped. The wall, it's going. It's splitting. But not with us. We're away. Just in time. Watch that wall, Brogan. Get those men back. It's going any second. Hey, Chief, what about that girl on the 20th floor? Anybody seen her? We can't get her. Even the extension ladders won't reach. We've tried everything. Chief, look up in the sky. It's a man flying. No, it can't be. It is, or we're both crazy. Look, look at him. The wall's going. Watch it. Back, back. Everybody back. As 
One wall of the burning building collapses into the street. Superman, like a bird in flight, carries the rescued girl to safety. Drops down in an alley near the fire. There, he once again assumes the guise of Clark Kent, reporter. Leaving the girl for a moment, he hurries in search of an ambulance doctor. Mike, the Daily Planet photographer, spots him. Together, they return to the alley with the doctor and the battalion chief. Here she is, doctor. I don't think she's badly hurt. Unconscious. She may be burned. We'll see. Aren't you a reporter, Kent? Yes, chief. Daily Planet. I'm with Mike. That's right, chief. I know, but how did you happen to find this girl? I, I was running to call my paper, and then I happened to see her, staggering out of the rear of the building. Oh, how in the world she ever got down from the 20th floor is a mystery. More than that, Kent, it's a miracle. I saw a man up there. I saw a man fly out of that window. Oh, that that can't be. And me not there with my camera? Well, I'm not crazy, Kent. Neither is Captain Grogan. We both saw him. Is she all right, Doc? Well, we won't come to for a while. Badly shot. Wait. She's coming around. Oh, oh don't let them. They'll get away. Catch them. Stop them. Oh, God. I can't get this. Quiet. Stop! You don't dare! Catch them! Catch them! She's out again. Here, quick. Get her in the ambulance. She's suffering from shock. Smoke poisoning. Wait, Doctor. What was she talking about? How should I know? You heard her, didn't you? Sounded like hysterical babbling to me. Okay, there. Coming through with the stretcher. Gangway, please. Was it hysterical babbling, or has sudden, unexplained mystery risen from the ashes of the Sterling Tower building? Who is this girl, and how did she happen to be trapped in the 20th floor office of the North Star Mining Company? Who did she want stopped and caught? Clark Kent is suspicious. Don't forget to tune in next time and follow the story of one of Superman's most exciting adventures. And remember, tune in with us next time and follow the exciting transcription, Superman! Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman! Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics Magazine.